I can't go for that. No, no can do. <laughs> that song was made by Ben Hall and Oates. And guys, I wanted to talk about this quick re-up haul fragrance video I just put together. But guys, sometimes you have fragrances in your collection that you just got to quote unquote re-up on. You got to put them back in your collection. Stuff that's just so daggum good, so dope that you are just like, man, why did I not have that in my collection? Why did I take that out of my collection? Guys, in this video, we want to talk about just those very fragrances. Right up off the bat, we're going to talk about this one right here, Dolce & Gabbana velvet bergamot probably one of the best most underrated bergamot fragrances on the planet now i've already said with this collection i do not agree with the price point but this juice right here guys this juice springtime warm months very very special and i had to re-up and add it back to my collection if anybody around here knows i'm a lalabo fan and lalabo must 25 probably the best must fragrance on the planet. Sadly, one that most of you guys probably will never even run across the smell because it is an LA City exclusive. But guys, I had to re-up on this. I have four little 50 ml bottles of this stuff because I will always have this stuff in my collection because it is the musk of musk. The musk of musk, just so, so good. And I had to re-up. Can't wait till September comes when they have the city exclusives available at your store. I'm going all in retail and pulling the trucker on several of them. So I'm having to save my pennies right now because I want to say those jokers are like 550 for 100 ml. They aren't cheap, but I love La La Boat. Next on the list from Bottega Veneta, Olivo. Guys, this is spring, summer in a bottle. This feels like sitting out in the Mediterranean under an olive tree and about 80 degrees and the breeze just comes in off of the sea. Such a good, good fragrance. And nothing on the market quite like it. Guys, I love olives. I love green olives, I love black olives. I just eat olives and cheese and prosciutto and I just do that thing. And guys, this fragrance, if you like olives, this is a great olive fragrance. I have a Slumber House Pear and Olive. That's one of those sickly kind of sweet ones. But this one, straight up olive goodness. You can spray this on, step out into, <laughs> Guys, if you like olive oil, anything kind of Mediterranean or Greek, and don't have this one in your collection, what are you waiting for? Best on the market, in my opinion. And it's so cool, especially outdoors in warmer temperatures. And it's a compliment monster. Actually, I'm going to do a review on most of these, but I had to pick this up, re-up on it, put it back in my collection, especially anticipating this Atlanta heat. Next, we have one that probably maybe discontinued, Prada Amber. Intense, Prada Amber Intense, Prada Amber Pour Homme Intense. Man, this, this is not a typical amber fragrance. This is not what you think of when you think of most amber fragrances, guys. A little bit more spicy, not really as resinous. I dig this stuff so much. I like the bottle, it's classic Prada. Prada Amber Intense, great re-up for my collection. Glad I have it, but the next one, this is gonna be Dumb Reach approved. And the Dumb Reach approved fragrance, guys, is none other than Prada Amber Pour Homme. Guys, the quintessential clean, soapy fragrance. High school student, college student's best friend. Classroom best friend. You can never go wrong wearing this juice right here. Now, it's quintessential Prada. Has that clean, soapy DNA. Guys, on my skin, I actually pick up a little bit Some Guys, on my skin, the mid and the dry down kind of turns a little bit, a little bit more peppery. I love this stuff, especially for high, high heat. This is right up there with Molecule 01 for fragrances that you can put on when it tops 90 plus degrees and you never have to worry about overspraying or offending anybody. Prada Amber Pro Ohm is a great one. Next, the last, but certainly not the least on this list is none other than this one right here. Dunhill Icon Absolute. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you saw the first bottle of Dunhill Icon, the silver joint that kind of smelled like that grape, that grape soda kind of vibe. This one right here slid right under the radar. I like the original, the OG version. I liked it because it was a little bit different take on an oud in a fragrance. But this one, a little bit more on the rose kind of oud side. Think of this, Tom Ford oud wood mixed with Versace oud noir, smoothed out on the R&B tip with a pop feel appeal to it. 
and it looks so good on your counter in your collection. I mean, just look at that bottle. Dunhill Gold Tie Bar, Dunhill Gold Fragrance. Looks so good, smells so good, guys. In my opinion, one of the most underrated fragrances out there because some people don't like the performance on their skin, but for me, for what it is, it performs just fine. I'm going to do a review on each one of these babies, but I wanted to actually bring them to you. Guys, do me a favor, hit me up in the comment section. Let us know what are some of the fragrances in your collection that you just have to re-up on. Some of the fragrances that are just so good that you cannot imagine your collection being without them. Something that if you just looked and say, man, there's a hole right there, the Prada or Dunhill or something like that must feel. Inquiring minds would like to know. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.